Hi, AFI Movie Club. Welcome. We're going to watch Spy today. And I was the set decorator. And also, I was an alumni of the AFI Conservatory. So right now, we're supposed to be in Varna, Bulgaria. But actually, we are at Lake Balaton in Hungary. And as we walk into this house, you'll see Versace wallpaper and Murano lamps. And he carefully uh, tosses away a Baccarat crystal glass to create a distraction so he can enter the cave system underneath this building. Baccarat. Exquisite. Now we're in the tunnel system under the Buddha castle in the Buddha side of Budapest. And this is actually in tunnels that exist under that castle, tunnels and limestone caves. So it was quite cold, quite chilly down here dressing these caverns, but it was really fun to shop over there. I had to go to Austria to find a lot of the antiques that we used and artwork and rugs. Bradley fine. I'm honored. Pleasure's all mine. So because we're in a cavern system, I had to add light wherever I possibly could. Every DP always asks me for as many lights as lamps and light fixtures as I can provide because they don't have to avoid them. They can see them. Oh, fuck. Sometimes I feel like a set ends up looking like lamp land, but it's really fun to find so many great lamps. We actually designed and added that overhead kind of a rectangle linear light above his desk so we could get some more light in there. And now with the LED tape that they can totally control the color range, sometimes I'll just provide a housing that looks appropriate for the location and the setting. And then uh, the electrician can then put in their own light, uh, LED lighting, and then they have a complete control over what, how bright it's gonna be and the color temperature. Anybody in here? Yeah, we got one coming around the corner now. And then as we go into this cavern and stash, we actually found and used Soviet era missiles which are deactivated and we just try to put as many things like a pirate's booty in there. I love working in kind of random countries, although, you know, Hungary has been making movies probably longer than Hollywood. But uh, so it was, it was really fun to just say to my, the local uh, support talent there, you know, Hey, I need to make a stash and we need to have everything from munitions cases to weaponry. And, and my assistant, Adam Polgar said, well, do you think you'd have some missiles down there? And I said, why not? You know? And so we found those missiles and we lined them up in there and the things you can find access to, because some people who live there collect, uh, Soviet era weaponry and guns and even missiles and the missiles came in their own cases and so I could have I could have the cases standing up and I could have the missiles I said let's get those bad boys out you know let's put those over there so it was because you just have a second when people are running to show the world and to show what's going on in that space so it was it was really fun I really had a great time in Hungary I thought they were chocolate sprinkles, which I would eat normally by the fistful, but this tasted like, mm, there's no other way to say it really, like a rat's ass. Okay, guys, can you please keep it down? Well, look, unfortunately, there's vermin in the ceiling again, and I hate to say it, but they've, um, well, they've pooped all over your cake. I love cutting into Melissa's space. When Melissa's sitting at her desk, she's actually got two or three monitors in front of her, and then behind her, she's also in charge of two or three other monitors. So she was kind of the master of the universe in this one area of the CIA basement. So I just tried to think of 
what would she have that are personal things? So she would have tissues because I think she's a weeper. Like she gets very emotional. I also had like little gifts. So she already knows like that somebody's birthday is coming. And then there were all sorts of little affirmations on her stickies. And I try to tie it into scenes that I know will be playing there as well. So don't forget his antihistamines because, you know, there's going to be mold underneath in the caverns. I love to meet with the actors and I like to be nearby when they're looking at their spaces. I don't want to bump an actor out of what they are trying to do in their scene. I want to support what their characters are up against in that moment. Wait for it, fine. Three, two, one, now. Oh dear, did I forget to knock? Jeff Sage. The designer is amazing. The mansion where we're shooting was actually only a single level house. You've got SUVs approaching. Go to the dock. Dock. Excellent idea. They did a visual effects extension on the top of the house so that we had a second story. And then the art department added stairs so he could start to run down the hill. And then we also added a floating dock, which was torn apart once while we were constructing it (laughs) by the winds and high seas on the lake. We had so many waves and it tore apart the whole entire floating dock. And then we exploded it anyway in the end. I can't get to the wires. Okay, then stay down and hold your ears. Uh, How I hear your beautiful voice. Stop being adorable and get down. Lock on coordinates 43.165472.9465 and fire now. Well, I would, I would accept that with an open mouth.